My topic is how do blind people see the world? I will talk from my personal point of view. Blind people are not the same. They are different, as different as you. But there are some figures and facts about living a blind life, of course. I will tell you how we are able to orient ourselves in rooms or public places. Another part will be the question of hearing products and brands. And last but not least, I will focus on opportunities and risks of multimedia for blind people. Just a few words about me. I am spokesman of the Blinden- und Sehbehindertenverein Hamburg. That's the association of blind and visually impaired people here in Hamburg. We are around about 1500 members. We offer special products like talking clocks, telephones with extra large buttons, electronic devices to enlarge newspapers, for example, or to transform their content into braille. We inform people who are becoming visually impaired about their social rights and we assist them. We have a group of elderly people, a group of people with guide dogs, visually impaired and blind people with uh, diabetes. We inform uh, web agencies and companies about accessibility, which is important for us because Blind and visually impaired people can use accessible websites without assistance. But now I welcome you in my world. And I'd like to ask you to see by ear. What we heard was recorded in Florida's uh, swamplands in uh, the early morning. A second cut. Where are we now and what do you see with your ears? Oh, 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 oh,
We listened to a group of fishermen in Togo, Africa. They were reeling in the very big fishing net. <clears throat> I think these two examples show that there is sound all over our planet. In uh, crowded cities, of course, in small villages, at beaches, in the forest. All these sounds give us information about our surrounding and All these sounds stimulate our emotions in a positive or in a negative way. People who are able to see often forget how different and how wonderful our planet sounds. There's one more example. Listen and perhaps you can tell after this what kind of event it was. That was a christening ceremony in Russia. From Russia back to Hamburg and my daily life. If I go to work in the morning, I use my white stick. With that one I feel curbsides and other obstacles. Sometimes um, I smell where I am, in front of the bakery for example. But most of my information I get by hearing. 
that's the sense which um, tells me where I am in a room or outside. I orientate myself by hearing cars on the road, by people's voices and their stepping, by the sound that changes under bridges or in front of high buildings. Across roads by myself. That is very easy. There is a traffic light with an acoustic signal. It's sad but true. But these signals are still rare. The association of blind and visually impaired people wants to increase their number. Lights uh, sound different from country to country. Here are some examples. It's the same in your business. As a public relations consultant, I have to work with a computer. Mails, blogs, Twitter, social networks, keeping our association's website up to date, get latest news by RSS feeds. That's part of my daily work. That's possible nowadays because of that great technical progress. My laptop, my notebook is a normal one. And I've got a device that transforms the screen content into braille. And my computer talks. Um, here's one news which was at the Guardian homepage yesterday. NASA has confirmed that there is water on the moon. The Discovery announced today as a result of preliminary analysis of data from the Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite, or LCROSS. The probe and an accompanying rocket were deliberately crashed into the Cavius Crater near the moon's south pole last month, and scientists have been studying the resulting plume of lunar dust for the past few weeks. Quote, we are unlocking the mysteries of our nearest neighbor and by extension of the solar system. It turns out the moon harbors many secrets, and LCROSS has added a new layer to our understanding. Quote, said Michael Wardo, chief lunar scientist at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C. Increasing evidence in recent months has supported the idea that there could be water on the moon, though it has been unclear how much and in exactly what form it exists. Finding water is a huge boost for future human missions as it could be used not only as a source of drinking water but also as fuel. Most scientists believe the likeliest places for water are at the poles of the moon, where there are craters in permanent shadow. Using data from the spectrometers on LCROSS, which examine light emitted or absorbed by materials, NASA scientists were able to analyze the plume of dust after its central rocket hit the moon's surface. Quote, not, quote. Did you understand anything? What was the topic? Okay, a second try. Much more slower. NASA has confirmed that there is water on the moon. The Discovery announced today as a result of preliminary analysis of data from the Link Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite, or LCROSS. The probe and an accompanying rocket were deliberately crashed into the Cabeus crater near the moon's south pole last month and scientists have been studying the resulting plume of lunar dust for the past few weeks. Quote, we're unlocking the mysteries of our nearest neighbor and by extension the solar system. It turns out the moon harbors many secrets and LCROSS has added a new layer to our understanding. Quote, said Michael Ward chief lunar scientist at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C., period. I'm familiar with that kind of voice. I work with it every day for more than 10 years now. That's why I understand it when, uh, yeah, when it runs uh, very fast. It's not because blind people have a better hearing sense. Um, it's just training. As I already mentioned, modern media is a big chance for blind people. The internet brings us a mass of uh, latest information. 10 or 15 years ago, we were not able to read a daily newspaper because it wasn't printed in braille. But today, we can read it in the web. We can communicate with seeing people by email um, and social networks. That's great. But websites ought to be accessible. If they are just uh, colorful um, and animated flash, we are not able to use a website. How do blind people see products and brands? Colors <laughs> are not that important for us. 
clothes, for example. My first impression is a haptic one. Is it soft or rough? Is it uh, cotton or silk? Are there any applications on it? But um, I live in a seeing world, so I should know what color my trousers and shirts have. Um, at home, I have got a small device um, which um, tells me what color uh, something is. Satte, braun, orange, gedämpft, beige, tiefes, olive, grün. There are acoustic aspects of products, not that much um, with clothes, but uh, when I think um, of technical products, then it's more important. For example, a DVD player. What's the sound of um, the, the disc tray? What's the sound of the laser, of pressing buttons, all that? Does it sound modern or old-fashioned? Does it sound solid or trashy? Sometimes there are um, sounds in menus. <clears throat> I think you call it auditory interface or something. DVD player or, or recorder or uh, TV, for example. Menus are very difficult for blind people because uh, we don't know where we are on um, which button, which level. Sounds can help there. For example, a deep sound at uh, the bottom but from my um, point of view that's just a stopgap i would be happier when there were an optional speech that tells where i am in a menu uh, that's not just a wish one fantastic example um, is the latest iphone 3 gs it has got a um, function called voice over on board with voice over blind people can use that mobile phone on their own. The normal product. You don't need any assistive technology or something. I hope that this will be the future, that mainly visual products get an acoustic option that includes speech and, of course, that's our topic here, and an obvious sound that reflects the brand. To be honest, I don't know lots of brands with a clear acoustic part. Um, just the typical examples like Intel or German Telecom. And these examples are focused on uh, radio or TV spots. <laughs> yes, I watch TV. <laughs> um, it's seldom that I hear brand sounds in public places. Why is there no Deutsche Bahn brand sound um, before they announce the next station? And why are too many sounds so synthetic, extremely crappy and cheap sounding? I don't understand it. If an acoustic brand is unique and nice to hear, then it transports a positive feeling and message. Keep your ears open. You will find many inspiring sounds in nature or in global music. I end with a recording from the Isle of Bali at night. <laughs> 